Hey, hey, good people, Arthur Morris here. In this video, we're going to look at adding rational expressions involving different quadratic denominators. All right, so we want to add two over three x squared minus 10 x minus eight plus one over three x squared plus 11 x plus six and simplify our answer as much as possible. First things first, we need to factor each one of those denominators. Let's come out to the side and let's factor, it looks like, using our AC method. So 3x squared minus 10x plus or minus 8. Uh, AC method, first times the last, 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. We want to find a pair of factors that multiplies to be 24. That gives us a sum of negative 10. Alrighty, so how about negative 12 and positive 2? Yep, that works. Okay, so let's rewrite this, splitting up the middle term into uh, negative 12x and positive 2x. Make our two groups. So factor out a 3x leaves me with x minus 4. The second parentheses, factor out a 2, leaves me in the parentheses with x minus 4. Factor out the common binomial, x minus 4 times 3x plus 2. All right, so... Alrighty, the second denominator, 3x squared plus 11x plus 6. 3 times 6 is 18. So we want to find factors of 18. That gives us a sum of 11. Alright, so how about 9 and 2? Okay, so rewrite it, splitting the middle term 11x up to 9x and 2x. Make our two groups. Factor the GCF out of each group. So 3x will come out of the first group. That will give us x plus 3. 2 will factor out of the second group. Leave us with x plus 3 in the parentheses. Factor out the common binomial. x plus 3 times 3x plus 2. So 1 over x plus 3 times 3x plus 2. Alrighty, so we have our denominators factored. Now we need to find the least common multiple of our, multiple of our denominators. Remember, each factor that you see in your denominator must be represented in the least common denominator. Alrighty, so x minus 4, it's only listed one time. 3x plus 2, uh, it's listed one time in each place, but the highest exponent is 1, so we only list it one time. And then x plus 3. So our least common denominator, or least common multiple of our denominator, is x minus 4 times 3x plus 2 times x plus 3. Now we have to compare our original denominator with our new common denominator and see uh, what did we have to multiply by to get the new common denominator. Or all you have to do is look and see what's different between the original denominator and the new common denominator. So my, on the first one, I have x minus 4 times 3x plus 2. However, in my common denominator, common denominator I have an x plus 3 down there as well. So that tells me that I had to multiply this by x plus 3, which gives me 2 times x plus 3. Alrighty, on the second fraction I have x plus 3 times 3x plus 2, but my common denominator has x minus 4 times 3x plus 2 times x plus 3. 
So that tells me that I needed to multiply this one by x minus 4. So we get 1 times x minus 4. Alrighty, so let's uh, clear the parentheses. So 2x plus 6 plus 1x minus 4. And it doesn't matter which the order we write those factors in down there. Um, all right, so let's combine like terms. 2x plus 1x is 3x. 6 minus 4 is 2. All right, now that we've simplified, we see that we have a common binomial in our numerator and our denominator, the 3x plus 2. So they will cancel each other out, and since I don't have any other factors in my numerator, then I put a 1 up there. Then I have x minus 4 times x minus 3. 1 over x minus 4 times x minus 3. All right, so let's walk through this again. What did we do? We needed to factor our denominator, so we had to use the AC method to factor our denominators, and we ended up with x plus 4 times 3x minus 2, or, or x minus 4 times 3x plus 2, and x plus 3 times 3x plus 2. We found our new common denominator by using all three of those factors, x minus 4, 3x plus 2, and x plus 3. We determined what we multiplied our original denominator by to get the new common denominator. So the first fraction we had to multiply by x plus 3. The second fraction we had to multiply by x minus 4. So we multiply, we combine like terms, and then we cancel the common binomial. Alrighty, good people. Let's uh, run through one more example. And what I what I want you to do on this next example is uh, go ahead and pause this video here and see if you can work it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and work it out as well. So, all right. So now I'm going to work it out and work it out fairly quickly. So hopefully you've had time to work it out. And the same steps here. Uh, Factors of negative 54 it gives us a sum of negative 3, negative 9, and positive 6. Make your two groups GCF. GCF factor out the common binomial All right second fraction Factors of 36, it gives us a sum of negative 13, so both of our factors must be negative, negative 9 and negative 4. All right, so um, make our two groups. Remember the negative travels in there with the 9x. Factor out a 2x from the first group. Factor out a negative 9 from the second group. That means we're dividing both of those by negative 9. Makes positive x minus 2. Common binomial x minus 2 times 2x minus 9.
righty. Common denominator. Two X minus nine times X plus three times times X plus three times uh, X minus two. So I have to multiply the first fraction. I'm, I have 2x minus 9 and x plus 3. So I need to multiply by x minus 2. Second one, I have 2x minus 9 and x minus 2. So I need to multiply by x plus 3. So let's distribute the 6, distribute the negative 2, combine like terms, 6x minus 2x is 4x. Negative 12 plus 6 is negative 18. Uh, 4x minus 18, I can factor out a common factor of 2. See, I have a common factor of 2x minus 9 in my numerator and 2x uh, minus 9 in my denominator. So I can cancel those out. And my final answer will be 2 over x plus 3 times x minus 2. All righty, good people. That's it for this video. I hope you found it to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.